Hello and welcome. Skillet coming to you from X4 Foundations. Look at look at my little bubble face. Look at this little guy. Oh my gosh. Just Just look at this little family we got going on here, guys. Just Just look at it. Oh, there goes somebody else. Oh, did you see that? Little f oh. But let's talk. Let's talk about Boron ships. And specifically, we're going to talk about the all the ships that I have here. Um, there's going to be um, the utility ships that we're not going to talk about. The Porpoise, the Miners, um, the Transporters, the Dolphin. And we're not going to talk about the Carriers, because God forbid, why? That is... It's one of my biggest pet peeves, and that's for... It's not even just for those ships. It's for every other new ship that has been introduced into the... That's a video for another time. We're not going to get into it. Skillet. <sighs> Let's go back to Bubbleface. He makes me happy. Look at this guy. Now, um... I don't know how to pronounce its name. I don't. I call him Bubbleface because look at that little cockpit. He's so cool. He's the scout. Let's uh, let's figure this out. Irukanji. Irukanji. It'd be great if I had that on so I knew where my cursor was. Irukanji. Um, have I tried to do this 12 different times with that name? Yes, I have. Has it ever stuck? No, it has not. Will it? Don't get your hopes up. Uh, because I'm... I don't... Irukanji. I think I screwed it up. Bubble face. Now, if you've seen the videos, the streams, this guy has been my mainstay for scouting. Um, this has been the most survivable ship that has scouted, other than the Discoverer. Uh, the other ship that we did have, we're going to jump to next. But this guy has been throughout my universe. He's been every corner, which way, that way, Xenon territory, non-Xenon territory. He's been everywhere. I like the look. I like the fins. I like the bubble cockpit, the canopy, whatever you want to call it. It is a cool-looking ship. It really is. I really love what they've done with the Boron. I really love what they've done with the ship design, how fish-like. I, I will never be able to say this enough. Egosoft, if you've watched this, I love... The mechanics you've brought. They bring new life to this game. The docking system, the ships, the, the glow, everything that you've done with this update. But he's been my mainstay. He's been throughout the universe. I've only had one. He's great. He's amazing. After this guy, well, there's one other scout that we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna just honorable mention. Um, because you get to see it in the beginning uh, of the playthrough, as long as you start on Commonwealth side. If you don't, you probably get to see it fly around in, in Boron side. Um, the other scout, I'm not sure why they really have two, is Paranha, Paranha, um, which has one gun slot. Um, its speed doesn't. It's what 307. This one goes 536. So, yeah. Um, this ship's cool. This ship's cool. Uh, here's the other scout. Not used it. Don't plan to use it. This guy's my scout. Now, after this guy, we're going to get... to this guy. Because the Mako... Mako... Um, however you Mako. pronounce it. Okay, Mako. You and your... Your pronunciations game. Making me feel wrong. Uh, so this guy, you get in the... In the Boron story. Um, and... And I liked mine. I really did. I could have upgraded its guns, have a little, uh, bit of a heavier hitter. Um, but its speed was good, its shields were, meh, it's only got one shield slot, so I'm not expecting, you know, to hold off a horde or anything. 
but it was quick. It was nimble. It got me to from in a very timely manner. Um, I could have changed out its guns. It's a great ship. I, I did like it. I did like it. Um, but what comes after this ship is a little bit... Uh, It's where the letdown starts. <clears throat> because after the Mako, Mako, computer, say what you want about it, uh, we get this. This is the Barracuda. Now, it's I don't think it's very fast. It's with almost every other Boron ship, the travel engine is quick. I think it's quick. I think all the travel engines for the Boron get you exactly where you need to be in a very timely manner. I really do. Um, now, was my letdown with the Barracuda partially my fault? I will say yes to that, because the weapons I had on it was a mix of one of everything. It's only got three weapon slots, so I used the, the projectile, not the, not the missiles. Um, I had one of each. There's only three, so three slots three different guns. Yeah. Could it have been a heavier hitter? Yes. Could you min-max this thing to be a heavier hitter? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The shields are decent. The travel speed's good. I don't think the the non-travel speed, it's it's normal, it's normal tr um, traverse rate is good. I say that, I feel you think I mean, you know, hey, there's a crystal. Um, I think, uh, I think you might mean me going side to side, uh, but I mean just, like, engine running. Cruising speed. I guess cruising speed would be a, a, a better word. I think that, that makes more sense. It's cruising speed was lackluster for me. Um, but was it, was it a decent ship? Yes. Um, did this, along with the Mako Mako, both get eaten up at one point in a stream? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And God rest those pilot souls. They, um... Yeah, I don't remember what they did. But after you get these two, I'm going to go to a ship that I spent a little time in. But the time that I actually spent in the ship was one of the... Oh gosh, you can barely see it. Was probably one of the most fun times I've had. And it's... That guy right there. I've got two of them because this is exactly what I think a gunboat should be. Argon, Talati, what were you thinking? The Thresher. The Thresher has eight. Eight turrets. What's the Peregrine have? Four? What's the Minotaur have? Two or four? What do they do? What do they do? This, the ship, the ship. Now, a little bit of a hiccup, sorry there. Um, now, this, this right ship, I, again, I, I didn't spend, I didn't spend too much time into it, but what little time I did. Okay, so I got the ship, right? Um, and both of, both of the threshers I have here, they both have the atomizer main gun, because you only get one port for it, and you've got eight turrets. Now, two of these turrets face backwards, so great for missile defense. And the rest of the... So you got four on top, two on the bottom. I don't know if they're open. There looks like one turret. And I think those are the two other turrets. And that turret in the back. So, yeah. We, uh... Well, we. I, uh... I was like, you know what? Come here, little Baldrick. Come here. Come to Daddy. Um, I have the atomizer on it because it slows down the enemy ships, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. I have the eight turrets, five on top, three on the bottom. I couldn't pirate the Baldrick fast enough because I never turned off the turrets. With that realization, I said, okay, well, let's put it to a little bit of a harder test. I took on a P. Um, there was a... 
Um, there was well, one of the ships went down super fast, so it had to be it had to be an N or a T because it, it went down super quick. Um, but there was two two M's, so a P, two M's, and an M and a T. I think it was one of those weird fleets you get to find on the side of a side of a, a, a sector, but it, it it did its job. The turrets did what I wanted them to do. The turrets worked. It was great. Oh, it was it was it was great. I I can't I can't it, it, the ship. Pressure. So both of these are the same. Can I? Oh no, I can't. So this thing's got a cruise speed of oh yeah, cruising speed. Look at that. Uh, of 461, um, its skill needs to be better. Um, we have kind of divvied up the turrets here. Um, we got the phase turrets, the ion pulse turret, which I think is 5 and 6 or 6 and 7. These should be the two on the back. And the arc and, and the ion should be... Uh, you know what? I don't even know now. I think the three on the bottom, the three on the bottom are the, the fast shooting ones. So I think it's the phase here. Um, and we have the phase in the, on the, on the top back. It did, it did great. Uh, this ship, it, it, I, I liked how it flew. I liked how it looks. I mean, look, look how flat, look how wide, girthy, thick this guy is. And look at that cockpit. That, oh my gosh, I, I like this ship. I do. I didn't spend near enough time into it. It was a great ship. I enjoyed my time in it. It was a it was a very nice flight, a very nice combat experience. Um, you got the turrets to, to help you out there. But the ship, the workhorse that I'm in now, I absolutely love. Um, I think it's probably one of the best ships. This is, again, my opinion. I think it's one of the best ships. But it's going to be, nope, the Hydra. Now, I have the Hydra Regal. This is what I've been flying. There are a few differences within the Hydra and the Hydra Regal. The first is going to be speed. Um, the Hydra is slightly slower. Its hull for the Hydra is, I believe, uh, 7,900. We're at 8,100 here. Um, However, where the Hydra shines is, 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 is its pitch, roll, and yaw. Uh, it is better than the Regal. However, the, the Regal is faster, has a little bit more hull, um, not as maneuverable or agile of a ship. But this thing is... is Hydra, this is, Regal. This is my ship. Um, and I know I've said that I have... I have gone small ships because I like the speed. I like the speed in this ship. It, I feel it could be faster. And if you get the in-game mods after you research them, you can make all these ships faster. You can make all these ships hit harder. You can make these ships last longer. Their shields, at least, anyway. You can do a lot with these ships. And I think they are they are in a great bracket just under par just under par it is is my best explanation for these ships and i think that they have the the opportunity and in the right hands you can go from under par to exceptional i really think you can they are very unique in their looks their play styles their speeds the weapons i do think these are pretty cool ships um the regal there's a there is a uh, an achievement um, that you have to take down um, a small or or bigger ship uh, in one hit. I did it with the Hydra Regal. Now this guy, this guy has the Ion Pulse Railguns, which are pretty heavy hitting for bronze standards. 
You are probably gonna die. I don't know what's behind you, but I saw that. Um, th they're heavy hitting for boron standards. I, uh, they're pretty heavy hitting guns uh, with four in one go. But they... It, it's an amazing ship. You can delete small ships. Easy. Medium ships, you're getting two, three, um, sometimes four rounds into, depending on um, who you're fighting. The Terrans, you're four or five, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, but you can you can also take down hard points pretty easy. Um, any Commonwealth shield is pretty much no match. The Terrans are a little more beefy in their shields, so you have to do a little more work on them. And they are they tend to be a little speedier uh, than you, but you can you can deal damage. You can deal damage in a Hydra. And it's it's a great ship. I can't I don't know if I could give more praise to the Hydra. Not Hail Hydra, because you know, Captain Red Skull over there trying to take over the world. Um but yeah, I this is my ship. I, I I can't I can't go back to anything else right now. I really can't. The final ship. The final one. And and, and this will be it for the combat ships for for the Boron. We are gonna go into a list of other ships that um I say ships, let's be honest. It's gonna be a ship that we talk about. Uh, but I am going to go into another video right. later down the road about one specific ship and how I think this ship is maybe the best. And I know that puts that ass video out to pasture, and it and it's about time that that video goes away. Um, we need to update. We need to. We've got new factions since that video has been made. But let's go to the Ray. Look at it. It's got teeth. It's got teeth. That don't do a whole lot. Nope, nope, nope. Those teeth are, uh, are there for show. Um, maybe you're supposed to scare somebody with it. Um, now, in this specific ray, and I've been flying this for a while now because I've been, I, I wanted to, it, it cost me 22 million. I'm not gonna, buy it and not use it okay 22 mil that hurt my pockets yeah i know you're seeing that you know money roll up we're at 120 or something now am i gonna buy another ray now that i think about it maybe because i think where the ray would shine is in a group or in a pack a wolf pack of rays right and i think that's where it's gonna that's where it would shine is is in a, a group of like-minded ships. And I say like-minded ships because its main gun is a beam weapon. It is the second longest ranging beam weapon, or the second longest ranging weapon. You have the Asgard, which is at 14 K, uh, km, I think. Yeah, km, kilometers. Uh, and then you have this, which is at 11. You've got the Paranid Maiden guns, which is somewhere like 9.6, 9.7, somewhere in that ballpark. This has range. It's it's beam. Um, it's a charge weapon. It uh, it does have a a cool a cooldown rate pretty fast. Um, let's let's t let's show. Hello, rude. Let's show you real quick. <clears throat> uh, the the weapon itself is on a gimbal. So you can pinpoint it. It's not like the Asgard. But it does charge up. It is off-center. Get used to that. Alright, we're red. And cooldown. Now, I did take down three Ks in this ship. Um, I, I did that to get used to it. Because this is... I thought it was gonna hit harder. It doesn't. It's not the. It's not the fastest, but it doesn't take the longest to get to get rid of a K. Would I? Would I myself pit this against an I? Nope. 
No. No, I will not. Mm -mm. Not if I'm the pilot. And I don't think I'm a bad pilot, but I'm not pilot enough to take a ray against an eye. Mainly because I don't... It's... No. The eye is too big. Um, this ship is long. The turrets on the eye will find me. I will die. That's that. Um, in a pack, I do think this could do work. But I also think with the Asgard, this can take down Xenon stations no problem. You've got the Asgard. It's beam. You've got, let's say, four rays. Their beams. Quick cooldowns. You're bringing that station to its knees. I think this is really where the ray would shine um, in like a, a, a real world effort is in a group. I, I do. Um, it's a cool ship. Its turret placements are, are, are decent. I think it's slow. I really do. Um, it's... Oh, we already have you up here. 124. I wish I could change out these engines, but again... If you've, if you've uncovered the mods, if you've researched the mods, you can change the statistics of your ship. You can change them. So I do think there is plenty of wiggle room for these to go from subpar par to exceptional. I really do. I think these ships are just a marvel. And I really like them. And again, this is where we're going to end because if we don't end here... It's a rant on how dumb, how dumb some of these other ships are. I just don't get it. I don't understand. I think there needs to be a, a, a retro fix. We're, nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting to that fight. I'm not doing it. Um, but this is my thoughts. These are the ships that I have played so far out of the Boron. I think they're great ships, and these are the roles that I think they'd be well fitted for. Um... Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you guys use them for. This is going to be Skillet signing out. I'll, I'll see you guys again.